add a plugin to FL Studio. And we'll go from scratch for you. So I'm gonna to jump to my downloads folder and I've just been updating all of my Isotope plugins, but Neutron 4 needs to be unzipped and done this way. So we've got the DMG. So once we unzip it, it sits up the top here, right? So this is a DMG on Mac. It'll be an EXE for you on Windows. It's gonna be a case of a double click and follow through the steps to install the plugin. Now this is gonna be down to your preference here. If you're only using FL Studio, all you're gonna be concerned about is the VST3. Now I use complete control, so NKS is great for me as well. I'm also a Logic user, so audio units is great. I no longer use Pro Tools, let's get rid of AAX. Let's go to next, and it's gonna install in the default location. If you're on Windows and you've got a custom location, make sure you pop it in there. So once that's installed, jump yourself over into FL Studio and I'll show you how to add those plugins. So we're gonna go add more plugins. All right, we get our big plugin list here and anything we've got starred. We want to go to this little guy at the bottom here, do manage plugins. Okay, so there's some key things that we wanna do here. We're adding a brand new set of plugins. So we wanna make sure that Verify Plugins is highlighted. If there was a previously installed version that's being updated, like in this case, we wanna do Rescan Previously Verified. If it's just a brand new fresh install, don't stress over it. Rescan plugins with errors. If something has had an error, like these wave shells here, we might wanna rescan those from a reinstall. Try to prevent pop-ups. I always put that on, it stops any authorization pop-ups coming up or iLock or anything else. And then combine VST and VST3 versions. If you have done a custom path, plug in search paths up here, you can add in your own path by hitting the plus and that will let you find that path. Mine are all currently selected here. So I've got the default VST and FL libraries. Make sure those are all correct to scan your paths. So from here, we're gonna do find more plugins or scan or whatever the wording says. It's that button there, hit that one. And it's gonna be a process depending on your machine. Now I've got a nice fast Mac, it'll be quick, but hit it and wait. It will let you know what's going on at the bottom. So scanning the libraries. And in the bottom here where it says find, we can type, let's put in Neutron 4, and then we can see all the components scanned in for Neutron 4 have been found and they're orange, so they are new. Let's start Neutron 4, and then that will be easy for us to find when we want to add it into something. So say on a mixer here, we wanted to put it in here, we can now go, we can now just click here, and we can go select, we can tap N, to go through the neutrons and look, neutron four is just there. And that, my dear music makers, is how to add a new plugin to FL Studio. If you'd like to see more FL Studio tutorials and tips, follow the channel or check out either of the videos shown on the screen now. Have a great day and take care.